Hello YouTube. Today we're going to talk about how to use two handheld GMRS radios and turn them into a repeater. Now, yes, you know, th th these are only 5 watt radios, but a situation where this could be really handy is if you're you go hunting on, you know, at your cabin and you don't want to do a fancy, you know, full blown repeater, you can uh, take two handhelds, wire them up as a repeater put these two on a pole and put the pole up you know on a tripod or maybe put them in a tree or whatever the case may be on a hill and then you'll get better better you know it'll help a little bit with your range um but it's real simple to do you don't need no fancy cable um you know some of the videos i've seen on youtube they, they use the uh, the k uh connector and um in this particular uh way that you don't really need to do that um because all, all what you're doing, the simple version of all this, you're taking the audio sound, the receive radio, through the headphones, you're feeding the audio sound into the transmit radio that has the Vox turned on. And that's pretty much all you're doing hardware-wise, okay? Real simple. Now, if you want to go by the FCC, which this chart here is 2018, so I, I hope this is still up to date, but it, for GMRS, there is certain frequencies or certain channels they want you to use for a repeater. So, if you look at this, um, there is down here, repeater input, RI, repeater output, RO. So the repeater input I'm going to use for today's uh, example is 467.55000. That's what I'm going to do for the repeater input. So if you look at that, repeater input is just like the sheet says, 46.500. That's the repeater input. And then the repeater output is going to be RO. 462.5000, 462.500. So, this is what they call a full duplex repeater. Now, there is what they call a simplex repeater, which I'll do a video on that. And a simplex repeater basically is just one radio hooked up to a computer, or you can buy a little box that does the same thing, so you don't need a computer, that records the voice and plays it back that's what a simplex repeater is and that's again you just need one radio for that the only downside is is that you'll hear yourself you'll hear it repeat yourself and I'll like I say I'll do a video on that coming up soon so you can kind of see the difference so now the cable now the the radios that I'm using are the Redivus RT85 model. You can use any GMRS radio that's programmable. What I mean by that is you can't use, in this particular setup, you can't use a Walmart radio that's not programmable. Now, with the simplex repeater, technically you, then you could because it's just one radio. But this is set up so that you got a receive frequency and a transmit frequency, and you cannot program a Walmart radio, bubble wrap radios, they call them, to do this. Not with this setup. So, but any GMRS radio that's programmable, you can do this. Now, the cable. I bought the cable. I can't remember if it was eBay um, or Amazon. But all it is, and I'm going to get the cable here. It came in a six foot length. That's the shortest I could find. But it has, let me see if I can do this. Hopefully you can see that. You want the mono plug. What I mean by mono plug, it only has one black ring. Stereo plugs have two. You don't want the stereo plug. Um, that won't work. So you want the mono plug. In this particular case, I need a cable an audio cable on one end 
the plug is a 3.5 millimeter male and on the other end it is again a mono plug this is a 2.5 millimeter this is smaller so uh, this is what I needed for my radio you'll have to look on your radio to see and the reason being is because um, the uh, I believe it's the speaker let me look here once it's the speaker out on this radio. If you look on the on the here, this is where you can plug in a, a mic set. The headphone is the speaker out. That's a smaller plug on this radio. That's going to be the transmit receive uh, the receiver radio. Sorry. So you just punch in that frequency. As you can see here, it's already done. But you got to make sure you turn the volume all the way up because, remember, it's got to feed the sound from here to there. And if, if this volume's too low, it, it, it won't work, and I'll show you what I mean. So we turn the volume all the way up. We plug in the cable. This is the speaker out. Hopefully you can see that. And then on the other one, we want to go to the mic microphone and that's going to be the bigger plug on this one there's a microphone symbol that's going to be the 3.5 millimeter so you plug that in like i said it's just an audio cable if you want to know how to look it up you would type it in and this particular cable i would type it in as a um uh 2.5 millimeter male to a 3.5 millimeter male audio cable mono mono audio cable don't forget the word mono like you don't want the stereo one that won't work so now we got this set up here make sure my volumes all the way up and on this radio and I'll probably do another video on this but this radio you're gonna need voice activation turned on and you're going to need it. Let's see if I can kind of show you here. I'll, like I said, I'll do another video. So we want to make sure this voice activation is turned on. We're going to go to menu. i got to find it here. So bear with me. There's a voice. That's You want that all the way up. Vox level all the way up. There's also a setting. You want your transmit power on high too, obviously. Um, there's also a setting on here uh, to turn on the Vox. So we got to go to that. Now, this one right here is the timeout, the transmit timeout, and you want that all the way up. Because if you get somebody that's, that talks on the radio that's long-winded, you, you don't want it to cut them off. So you want that timeout um, as high as it can go, TOT they call that. There's also a setting, there it is right there. you got to make sure that's turned on. So you got to turn on the voice-activated switch, turn the level all the way up, and turn the level all the way up. Which is going to be on this one. And, and you can set your tones too if you want to. I didn't in this particular case. But if you don't want anyone hitting the repeater without knowing the tones, you can set the receive tone and transmit tone if you desire. I didn't in this particular case, um, just to keep it simple. So, but you want the, the Vox level all the way up, and we're going to find that here. And I apologize, there it is. You want that all the way up. So turn the Vox level up, turn the Vox on, and have the TOT set as high as possible. Now, I think I bumped this from the my settings here. Yeah, I did. So I'm going to have to change that. And I thought that was that thought that's what happened. So we're just gonna repunch it in here. Four, six, two, five, five, zero. There we go. See? I bumped it. That's all you gotta do. Simple punch it in. So now we gotta hook the microphone. We want the microphone. This is a transmit, so we want the microphone. We want the sound from this one going into this one. So the microphone one here is the bottom plug. In this case, it's the bigger plug. So we're going to plug that in. Now, you take another radio, and if you did this right, 
Now, there's going to be feedback here because I got all these radios so close. I got a radio that's hooked to a microphone here, as you can see. I got the handheld here. Now, this is voice activated, so if you dead key, watch. When, it's in, when this radio is in receive mode, the light is green. When it's in transmit mode, the, the light is red. Now, watch. If I press this, let me turn this down here. Let's turn this all down. Okay, let's see if I can get this to show you what I mean here. Okay, there, see? Watch, if I don't talk, see how it goes off? Because this is on voice activated. So if you have this volume too low, watch, if I turn this volume down, I could sit all day and talk and she ain't gonna turn on. See that? One, two, three, four, testing. To program this on the other radios, it's a little different. This is why the Walmart bubble package radios won't work in this particular setup. And the reason being is because you need to have two different frequencies programmed. So, if you watch this now, when I hit the transmit button, watch this frequency change. It'll change to that. Watch. See how it changes to that? Because I have the offset. When I let go, it automatically goes to the receive. Let me move it like this. Maybe you can see it better. You can, you can see it goes right to the receive. So, transmit. Transmitting, see? Goes to that radio. Let go. It goes back to the receive. So, that's why the Walmart ones won't work with this particular setup. Now, how do, you, how do you program this? It's very simple. In this particular model, and I think the Bullfangs have the same type of settings. You just got to find it in your menu. We got to do an offset, a positive offset. So you punch in this frequency first. Punch that in, 462.5500. You go into your menu, and then we're trying to do this now. I believe it's menu 22, and there's my offset, 5 meg. Now we want to make sure it's set to positive. Again, I don't have no tone set for this example. There's a positive, positive shift. That's all you got to do. Okay, make sure that's turned on and then make sure you have the five meg offset. So when you hit, when you press this transmit button, it changes frequency. See how it does that? You can see how it's lighting up over here. It's doing, the, um, you know, it's picking this, my receive radio is picking it up. And then when you let go, somebody else is talking. Like if I put this radio down and I key up this one. One, two, three, four. See how it's, see? That one, two, three, four. See how it's working? And that light goes off, that radio goes off. Because I'm not, it, voice activated. Or this is set to voice activated. So that's how you know I'm going through the repeater. One, two, three, four. So, and like I said, I may do a, a, another video more in depth on how to program it, but that's a simple way of doing it. Um, this works really you know, well. Now, there's going to be some descents, and what I mean by that is since you got two radios close together, the sensitivity you know, is going to be affected a little bit. Um, yes, I got a six-foot cord. Can I separate them with six feet? Yes, you could. Could you separate them further? Well, yeah, if you can find a long enough cord, you, you could probably do that. But I'm going to do a video on a distance test using this setup with the radios about a foot apart on a pole. That's what I, I'm going to do, a, a distance test video, so you can kind of see how it works. Um, but, uh, and like I said before, the simplex repeater... Uh, you just need one radio in either a laptop computer, there's free software out there, or you can buy a box. 
the nice thing about the box, you don't need a computer. It, you plug it into your radio and you can put it anywhere. If you have a computer, there's free software, but you got to have the radio hooked up, to, hooked up to the computer. And if you don't have a long enough cord, you know, maybe there's a Bluetooth thing a guy can buy. I may check into that. But we'll do another video on the simplex repeater. This is a full duplex repeater per se on this setup. So, hopefully this will help you get going, and like I said, it's great for any hunting or anything. You need a quick throw up a repeater, this is the best way to do it. Um, if you have any questions, post them in the comment down below, and please subscribe. Thank you, and have a good day.